everybody, this is Sherry with CPR, Craft, Pray, Repeat. And I'm here today with a project for Mama's Treasures on Zibit, and I will put a link in the description box. And it is Rebecca from I Am Mama 24 here on YouTube. And I absolutely love these bottle caps. And I think I decided what I wanted to do with the last of the 10 come in a pack, and I used four for my um, decoration station and I finally decided what I wanted to do with the last six and so what I did was get on a Disney program that I have here on my computer and yes I have seven because I couldn't make up my mind about those two but we'll work it out together when we get, <laughs> when we get started so I made some, I printed out some little things that I designed on the program, and I know I'm going to have to trim this down a little bit to get my, um, my punch in there, because I've got my one inch circle punch, which is what it takes to fill this circle up, and you just slip it over. Now, I mean, I really, really, really have this a tight fit. I probably could have or should have went down just a tiny bit more. And I'm trying to line this up and let you guys see at the same time. I don't know how well that's going to work. And, oh, come on. Hey, I think I got it, guys. Hang on. There we go. Boop. Got the first one. All right. And that's, let me get it so it'll focus there. And it says happy valentine's day in pink which is not showing up very well on the camera but it shows up really well in person so i'm going to scoot those aside and i'm going to punch out the other um the other ones i have and my grandson bless his little heart he's making this very difficult for me because you know everybody thinks oh little boys they like Mickey Mouse. Well, my grandson likes Mickey and Minnie equally. And so I had no idea which one of these he would want. And I was, you know, I wasn't necessarily going to label them. I was just going to let each kid, you know, pick one. Because one is for my grandson. And I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the other are for my friend Joy who passed away there for her grand her grandkids. She's got three granddaughters and a little grandson. And he's about the same age as, as my Azrael. But he is a Mickey fan, so I knew that he would want a boy blue Mickey. So that one was easy to pick out. And so I wasn't sure which one Azrael would want, and I'm like, ah. So I, I've got seven designs, and because I wasn't sure if I liked this one on the red background, or if I needed to um, use the white background, so, I mean, this has just been so traumatic for me, trying to figure, make all these decisions. What am I going to do? You know, and I'm really ticked off at myself, because I don't know how I have got these so darn close to the size I really thought I shrunk them down pretty good and I'm disappointed with myself for being so close and I mean we're mean we're meaning close close let me go ahead and trim this part off so I can get to the next ones now this last one is for my daughter-in-law and I'll bring it up there so you can see it I mean let it focus it says Disney in my veins, Jesus in my heart. And so she saw something similar and she wanted me to make it make her a shirt out of this this sentiment and which I've already got it designed and everything. I just have to um see and I used her her circle here as my pattern. And there's plenty of room for hers. I, I don't understand this. I'm getting very confused. Heaven knows it doesn't take much. 
but I'm getting very confused. And then and here's the white one. Now the white one seems to be pretty good. I don't I'm really confused by this. I don't know what happened. Um but so now we just have to decide. Now I know that she is getting my daughter-in-law is getting the hot pink. So I know I can stick that one in there and that's, you know, pretty safe bet. Here's the blue one for the blue one. And Happy Valentine's Day. And I mean, now, Azrael is three. Jackson is three. So, I mean, you know, they can, you know, Azrael and my daughter-in-law, they have passes to Disney. So, she could put it on his jacket. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little pin on the back. And so, they can pin them onto their little jackets or whatever for Valentine's Day. And um, so, I mean... You know, I mean, they're the littlest one. I would pin it to her diaper bag or something, but not, you know, necessarily on her shirt. But Azrael and the other ones, Jackson and Carly and Ellie, they're old enough that you could pin it onto their shirt. And, well, Azrael's a booger. He might yank it off, but then he'd only probably do it once because he'd get poked with the pin. <laughs> so we'd see about that. Now, here's the last one. Here's the decision. Do we go with that one for the red or for the hot pink? Do we go with that one for the hot pink? Or no, that's not the decision. Oh my golly, I'm getting so confused. Okay, do we go with this one for the red? Because I wasn't quite sure how Mickey would, if he would really stand out on, you know, with the red background. But I like the fact that I, there is a colored background. So, oh man, this is tough. I hate this. How am I supposed to decide? I don't have anybody here to ask, and I can't hear you people because apparently you're not yelling loud enough to tell me which way to go. Oh, no. Oh. Let me try this one more time. Uh, I like that they all kind of have the matching background, so we're, we're going to go with that. Okay. So, if you've never made bottle caps or anything like this, they're super, super easy. Now, I used my Recollections 110 pound cardstock because I wanted to be able to put the glue on the back and not have to worry about it, uh, you know, it going through or anything. And now this is, there's just a hair of a um, ring around the edge of this. But don't panic because that's actually where your plastic seal is going to go around and go over top of. And this is my art glitter glue, which dries clear, so you'll never even be able to see, you know, the clear on the back. And then I will use my hot glue for the, um, the little pins. And so there we got two done. I mean, these go together so fast and they're so cute and you can make them for any holiday to wear, you know, just to put a little pin on your jacket or something, you know, like, oh, wouldn't it be cute for like National Hug Day or National Best Friends Day or, you know, stuff like that. That's not really a typical holiday, but it would be a cute way to, you know, point it out and make it stand out. And, uh, so, but I thought the kids would like these. And I know my daughter-in-law and my grandbaby, they're planning on going to Disney that day. So, they got passes for the week, during the week, because my son's at work. And when he's off on the weekends, they do other things. And he's not a big Disney fan where my daughter-in-law she you know she's been they've been married for eight years and she 
The minute she hit the Florida border, I swear she turned into this major crazy Disney fan. And, uh, so she loves it. <clears throat> and, and actually, you know what? I'm not going to get rid of this one because I do have somewhere some silver bottle caps. And I can put that one in a silver one. <clears throat> and I'll give it to somebody else. So at least I don't, you know, I don't waste it because I don't like to waste my stuff. It's not really, I mean, it's just a little bit of ink and paper, but, and I won't waste the rest of that paper because I'll trim off those colored circles and then use the, the rest of it for die cuts. So I don't know why I spun that around like I thought I had to get it in a certain direction. That didn't make much sense. And so we just get those on there. And close up the glue. Now, I'm that one doesn't look quite centered. I want to try to make sure I get it as centered as possible because that gives these plastic domes a chance to go over top and seal the rest so that if they're out and it's raining, you know, this is an inkjet printer, it's not going to, um, you know, smear, the plastic dome will protect it and keep it safe. And as soon as I, oh, ha ha ha, had it backwards. That's okay, I figured it out. <laughs> like, oh my golly. I didn't sleep worth squat last night, folks. I went to bed at 9.30, no, 10 o'clock. Went to bed at 10 o'clock, got up at midnight, stayed up till 2, got back up at 2.30, got back up at 4 o'clock. And then, well, my husband, bless his heart, he's a good sport. Because I woke him up at 5.30 and said, why are you still sleeping? You've missed, you overslept for work. And today's Sunday. And he doesn't work on Sundays. And, you know, he's like, Sherry, we're, we're going to go to church. And I'm like, no, it's Monday. You got to go to work. And... <laughs> Yep, he probably thought I lost my ever-loving mind. Now, when, here's what I do. When I peel these off the paper, try not to touch this underside because if you do, you're going to leave fingerprints. And that's not going to be a pretty thing. And it's going to be impossible to get rid of. So, you know, you don't want to do that. And you press this down on top of it and it seals it good. And the glues on the back and once it dries it'll be clear so just kind of put your fingers on the edge and and peel them up because you don't definitely do not want to touch the underside and I try to get them lined up as close as I can because when you get them in there they're in there there's no really moving them around kind of stuff and then I just press it down good and tight And now I'm not going to make you all watch me put the backs on these because I'm sure that you all know just, you know, I've got one of the pins and I, I'm going to try, I think I might try E6000, but I don't know how E6000 works with plastic, but I really want to do something to make sure it doesn't come off. So... I'll write in the description what I end up using, whether I use hot glue or whether I use um, E6000 to let you know. Because, I, you know, sometimes some glues will eat stuff. And I know E6000 will eat foam. I don't think it would eat plastic, but, you know, who knows? I don't know all this stuff. And, uh... But I'm working on just a little Valentine's Day thing for each of the kids. And so I'm going to send them down when I send Azrael stuff down. So everybody gets their stuff at the same time. And it's nothing big, you know. But I just, I want to keep my promise to my friend. And 
I will be there for her children and her grandchildren and so that's what I'm trying to do and I love how this kind of like magnifies it for a minute almost wish you could get a a thick piece of glass that would go on top of these things I don't know if they make anything like that but it would magnify the decoration underneath I think that would be really cool and now remember what I did for the decoration station was I took a um, a little pin a little clothespin and put it on the back here now there is this little tiny it's just a little bubble it must have been where it was hooked to the plastic or something so I just took my um, fingernail file thingy here and just a couple little and takes it takes it right off because I kept thinking why are these not laying flat and um, but you know just that quick and it takes the little nub off and they do lay completely flat and uh, I don't think it would make any difference when you glue the backing on that little nub but it bothers me so I take it off and plus it kind of gives it kind of scuffs up the back a little bit and I think that will help whatever you use whatever glue you use to stick to the back and so I got those off and now I'm gonna zoom you in here and let you guys see all of the awesome Valentine's Day pins let's see if we can get some of this glare off so that you guys can see them and now this one the purple one looks a little difficult to see on the camera but it's actually very easy to read oh please don't croak on me here camera it's actually very easy to read in person I don't know why it's making it so difficult to read um, on the camera but they all turned out good I just was trying to avoid the black as much as I could because I didn't you know blacks not really Valentine'sy I was trying to stick with pinks and reds and purples but I guess seeing as how it's Mickey and Minnie I could have picked you know whichever one I wanted so I figured you know originally my grandson I was thinking he would want this one but then like I said he loves Minnie as much as he loves Mickey so I wasn't sure which one he would like so I, you know I'm sure he'll get to pick first because they're going to their house and then so this is the red that's the hot pink and there's the light pink so you can see the difference the light pink hot pink red but Azrael and then I know Jackson would want the blue one so I knew that was an easy one for me and then <clears throat> the extra hot pink one went to my daughter-in-law and then depending on which Azrael picks that would leave Carly Julie and Ellie so I'm good I got everybody covered and that's it guys this is my project for this week for mama's treasures and again I will put the link in the description box for the um, the bottle caps I will put the description and uh, the link in the description box for her store and I believe she may even have some silver bottle caps if she does I'll link them as well because I like them too it just depends you know I like the fact that these ones have collars but depending on what you're making you know like if I were doing something for um, St. Patrick's Day you know these collars wouldn't really work so silver would be perfect so I will make sure I link those too I hope you guys like this quick but simple project and think about you know getting some of these and making them for your grandkids you know imagine um, what I did for Mariah and Jesse one time was they were the Swanee Bulldogs so I put a bulldog here in the middle and then I put Swanee Bulldogs on the outside 
around the edge and this is just I bought the program this Disney program when I bought my very first computer so that tells you how long I've had it forever and uh, so you know you don't have any program will work it's just a matter of making sure you get your design down below an inch because it's a one inch circle punch and that's what I used my one inch circle punch oops upside down my one inch circle punch to cut everything out and so I mean there are so many things you can do with this it doesn't have to be Valentine's you can do Christmas you can do if you've got somebody who is you know a teddy bear fan or a fairy fan or you know just different things that you know somebody likes it would be really easy to put them in there and you could put magnets on the back and use them for magnets on the refrigerator and or like I did with the little clothes pins or the Valentine's Day things there's so many things I love these bottle caps because you can there's always a way to use them always all right guys I won't keep you any longer I just wanted to share this quick project with you remember to practice your CPR craft pray repeat thanks for visiting me today guys and happy crafting I love you all. Bye.